Rob Elementary Parents, this phone call is for you. Please know at this time, Rob Elementary is under a lockdown status due to gunshots in the area. The students and staff are safe in the building. The building is secure in a lockdown status. Gladys Gonzalez was one of hundreds of parents who received this automated message on the morning of May 24th. I didn't know really what was going on. Soon after I received a call from my husband, he tells me, you know, there is a gunman inside the school. And just not knowing how my daughter was or what where she was, it was just, it was the worst feeling. Gladys's 10-year-old daughter, Caitlin, was in the fourth grade. She had a phone. I kept calling her. I kept messaging her. You had no idea if Caitlin was alive? And I didn't know. I didn't know until maybe two, three hours later. He had an AR-15. He shot a whole bunch of times. He's inside the school shooting at the gym! What have you learned about what Caitlin experienced? Caitlin was in room 106. And it was a room that was across where the massacre happened. From what her teacher has told me, the kids huddled together close to her desk. She remembers a lot of the screams and, you know, a lot of the chaos. She could hear the police out in the hallways. Gladys learned that officers broke the windows of classrooms across the hall from the gunman and began evacuating students. Go, 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 watch it, watch it, watch it. You're okay, buddy, you're okay. We're gonna get you over this, all right? Caitlin was one of them. All the way to the fence, all the way to the fence. So what happened when you actually were able to finally see and meet up with Caitlin? Mm, she just gave me the biggest hug. She gave me the biggest hug and I told her, you're safe now, mama. Mommy's here. shooter, uh, 18, is dead. Some families are getting that news they didn't want to receive this evening. That night, my husband and I didn't sleep at all. Just watching the news. Horror in Uvalde, Texas tonight after a gunman kills 19 elementary school students and two adults. Tonight, as investigators gather evidence, we are learning about some of the victims. Caitlin wakes up and she said, Oh, I wonder where Jackie is. By then, I already knew. Caitlin lost many of her friends on May 24th, including her very best friend, nine-year-old Jackie Casares. The two of them had been inseparable for years. Do you mind if I use my fingers? I don't mind at all. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm inspired by you, because you're like the artist here. Back where you live in New York, do you hear chickens? No. <laughs> what do you think I need to do? Maybe some red, no, yellow, yellow. Kind of sprinkled throughout? Mm-hmm. So tell me about your BFF. Tell me more about Jackie. She is funny. Her laugh was funny. She snorted. Well, when did you meet? Oh, she was on a swing. And she was playing by herself, so I asked her if she wanted to play with me. And she said yes, and then we kept talking. And, yeah. Do you talk to Caitlin about that day? I try not to bring it up. And, but there's just a part of her that has become obsessed in wanting to understand what happened, why they didn't go in when they had the chance. That's a very profound obsession for a 10-year-old to have. Yeah. You know, the one place where she was supposed to have been safe and she wasn't. 